click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to assign RS to this chiral center. Now this is a Fisher projection. Fisher projections have certain rules that you have to know. Very simple rules, but you still have to know them and follow them. First things first. Fisher projections always look like this. They have the most oxidized carbon at the top, the least, oxidi the least oxidized non-chiral carbon at the bottom, and the chiral carbons are always uh, written like this with the intersection being the chiral carbon. And the most important thing, or one of the most important things to know, is that whatever's horizontal on the, new, on the Fisher projection is coming towards you, And whatever's vertical on the horizontal, pardon me, whatever's vertical on the Newman projection is going away from you. That's how it always goes. Okay? Going away from you. So now, an important concept here is that you have to understand that the hydrogen is the low priority group on every chiral center, no matter what. Hydrogen is always low priority. So that means, that means that you have to be mindful of the kahn ingold prelog rules. Let's do this chiral center first. So we know that this is coming towards us and this is coming towards us. We know that that is number four. We also can predict very easily that this is number one. Chiral center is here. Jump out one atom in all directions. Hydrogen versus oxygen versus carbon versus carbon. So this is obviously one and four. I think everyone's comfortable with that by now. If not, uh, we have other videos we can show you to get you comfortable with the whole idea of uh, assigning priority groups. Up this way and up that way, again, it's just carbon. So from here, I can jump out to carbon, sorry, to oxygen, oxygen, and oxygen. Here, I jump out to just one oxygen. So this is priority group two. And the bottom one is priority group three. So 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and then back to 1. So it appears to be R. It appears to be R. However, remember, to assign RS, you have to have the low priority group facing away from you. That's the rule. In this drawing, they're facing towards me. So this is not R. This cannot be R. It appears to be R, but remember, the, high priority, the low priority group is facing me, has to be facing away from me. So this must be, must be, must be S. That chiral carbon is S, okay? That chiral carbon is S. Now, let's do this one. Let's be, let me clean up my drawing here a little bit. It's a little bit messy. Okay, so this one was S. I'll put that back in there. There we go, there's S. So we're dealing with this chiral carbon right here. This is four, and this is one. Now from here, we jump out to here, carbon to carbon. From here, we jump out to three hydrogens, so this must be three. And this here must be two. So one, two, three, back to one, one, two, three, back to one appears to be S because we're doing in a counterclockwise, we're rotating in a counterclockwise way. So it's not S, it's R. Because remember, this hydrogen, the low priority group, is pointing towards you, meaning, meaning it's the opposite of what you think. So this chiral center is S and this chiral center is R. And that's how you assign um, R and S to a Fisher projection. You don't have to redraw them. In fact, don't redraw them. Appears to be S. In fact, it's R because of the low priority group is pointing in the wrong direction. All right, guys, so that's how you do this problem. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're working on in organic chemistry. Maybe I can help you by making a video just for you. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help YouTube creators when you subscribe to their content. And if you could, please share my content with your friends and family who may be struggling with organic chemistry. Maybe I can help them out. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.